So many components to readiness. Uh, you could pick at any one of them and find areas where we, we need to work harder on and where the lack of resources, uh, especially the last several years, has really been a difficult challenge for all of us. But I think about as a capital intensive service uh, and the amount of maintenance and upgrades and modernization to, to pace the threat or get out in front of the threat is, uh, is an enormous cost. And, and that's part of our readiness component. If you can't get the ships underway, the submarines underway, or the airplanes flying, then you're going to have readiness problems uh, across the board. I think that's, that's obvious. What always pays for those big capital investments in our business are people and munitions. And we've, we've taken risk in those areas over the last 10 years because the resources haven't been there. Now we're starting to buy that back. Uh, but when I think about the people, it's also the readiness component, which talks to experience and build, building intuition on a battlefield, at sea, in the air. And those things you can't buy back. Once you've passed by a year or two of that kind of proficiency and that kind of training, it's very difficult to buy it back unless you get it in situ at the time when the, when the person going through that training needs it the most. Yeah. Well, thank you.